I try so many ways to get you to notice me, like my shiny pants. That was pretty brave. And beating up Carly. And then dyeing my hair pink. Oh, super close, I'm close. Okay guys, Wednesday, January 5th, 2000, 11.33 p.m. <laughs> Dear Tyler, since yesterday, nothing much else has happened. <laughs> Yet I find myself totally deep in this stance of wanting to see you, wanting to talk to you, or even hear about you. I've heard some stuff like you act the same with, way with other girls that you do towards me. Now you know if you do that, it's kind of disappointing because like I thought I was special. <laughs> Maybe even to you. So you seem pretty happy that Crystal got the shit kicked out of her. Um, do you still plan on phoning her all the time? She always bitches at me whenever she finds out I talk to you on the phone. So do you talk to her the same way on the phone as you talk to me? This is like really pissing me off because you send me such mixed up signals. <laughs> I start thinking one thing and then without a doubt you're sure to change my mind right away. But I guess it's just who you are, hey? So, do you like my pink hair? You know what I just realized? That I say way more courageous stuff to you than I used to. I like this better than the shy me. God, you're hot. <laughs> I try so many ways to get you to notice me, like my shiny pants. That was pretty brave. And beating up Carly. and then dye my hair pink. <laughs> you know, there are other guys that I could go out with, but I don't love them like I love you. <laughs> and no, I don't mean love as in in love. I mean, I care about you. <laughs> this does sound kind of corny, but I do think it might be happening. I think I might be falling in love with you. I will wait for you until I know absolutely that you hate me. <laughs> I really, do, I really do get the feeling that you like me. But even if you don't, can you just keep doing everything you're doing now? Because at least that gives me this crazy idea that maybe someday I could have you. I really don't have anything else to say except I love you. I think. Lots of love, Danny. P.S. I might give you this someday. Or read it in front of 400 people 18 years later. <laughs> There's a little follow-up here, guys. Sunday, January 9th, 2000, 1 16 a.m. Dear Tyler, as I said in the last letter, I don't want to get into the habit of apologizing to you, and I won't. You're a total prick. And that's all there is to it. Anybody who can be charming and sweet one day and then bitchy and annoying the next is obviously too much of a prick for me to give a chance. So I won't. I'm not giving you any more chances. I'm sick of you constantly playing these little games with my heart and mind. Uh, from now on, I'm playing it safe. No more of this. What if Tyler doesn't like it? From this point on, it's for Danny and no one else. <laughs> I might still melt every time I see you, but that's just something that I can't control. If you do ever uh, decide to ask me out, I might be able to persuade myself to say yes. <laughs> but until then, I'm taking the safe way out. Lots of love, Danny. P.S. God, you're hot. 